Hey everyone, I'm Myron. And I'm Hannah. And if you're new to our channel, we're from New Zealand and we're traveling Europe in a camper van and we vlog our adventures. We've also recently started doing videos on what van life's like and our tips and tricks and that's what today's video is going to be about. So today's video is all about our water system. So our fresh water, our grey water and our black water or toilet water. So early on in the build we decided we were going to go with underslung water tanks. We wanted as much storage as we like as much water storage as we could possibly have and being a medium wheelbase van we really don't have much room in the van. So but underneath the van is the perfect place to put them. Yeah it was perfect for us but we couldn't really work out like how you fill them up, how you empty them. We tried doing some googling and we got a little bit of information but no one really talked about it. It could be because no one else really wonders this but yeah. we 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 wondered it we we just couldn't wrap our heads around how it would work we'd never really gone to an air or a camper stop or even really spent time in no. a camper van i don't think i'd ever stayed in a camper van no me neither um, i did as a little kid though yeah so we didn't know like do we need a hose buckets a funnel like how are we going to get water into our fresh water tank and then out of our gray water tank so we thought we'd make this video to tell you how we do it just in case you're wondering the same thing and if you're looking at similar tanks to ours you'll get a good idea of how they work so for fresh water we have a 75 litre tank underneath on the driver's side of the vehicle on the outside of the vehicle there's just a tap that you can just connect the normal standard hose fitting to and then connect that side up to a normal tap that you might find in a campsite or an airy turn the tap on on that side open up the little valve on the van side and then the water will just flow into the tank and fill up until it starts to overflow once it's overflowing then you know the tank's full turn off the water and you're done yeah it's really easy to do like a lot easier than we thought it would be right yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing with fresh water is we're quite picky about the water sources we get it from we make sure it's drinking water safe so we tend to only get it from campsites or airs or camper stops or um, if, if it very clearly says drinking water if yeah. we can ask someone. Drinking or potable water. Yeah, is, drinking yeah. or potable. Um, we, yeah, we, we have a filtration system which we'll talk about in another video but we still like to make sure it's drinking water safe. It's really important to us. Yeah. And so the freshwater tank is connected to up to our plumbing system in the van and we literally just turn up on a normal household tap and then water comes out it's it's so easy you feel like you're in a house when you yeah. have to use it it's only when you're actually filling it up you feel like oh this is a little different yeah but it's so easy and quick to do so our other tank we have underneath the van is grey water and so that's connected to our kitchen sink so that's all the water that runs down our kitchen sink. If you also had a bathroom in your van that would also be your shower water or your bathroom sink water. So we have a 41 litre tank and it's down the passenger side of our van. Um, generally you'd have a smaller grey water tank than your fresh water because you use up some water through drinking or through cooking it doesn't all go down your drain but if you have a shower that like uses a lot of water you'd want both tanks to be bigger but you'd probably want them to be a bit closer in size as well because the majority of your water usage would be going through yeah straight through the shower into the grey water so we try and only empty our grey water at allocated sites. I think once or twice we haven't been able to find somewhere until we've emptied it like on a piece of grass in the wild when it's raining. So we're like, it's fine, it's going to wash away and you know, there's nothing bad going down our sink anyway. It's really just water and occasionally little bits of food. Um, so, but yeah, we really, we really mainly empty it at in allocated places and we'd really recommend you do the same. Um, so usually it's at a campsite or an air and there'll be a drain and we literally just park over it, turn the tap on that's underneath the van and it just pours out. It is so simple. Mm -hmm. In some cases the drain might be a little bit different and you you can't park over it or it's just because of the size and where it is we can't get to it and in those cases we just have a collapsible bucket that is like solely for this purpose we don't use it for anything else because that would be gross um and we just pop that underneath the tap turn the tap on wait till it fills up turn the tap off and then go dip it down tip it down the drain it's really easy to do that yeah. when we have to do it like that it's a tiny bit messy but like it doesn't get anywhere it's just like a bit gross when the water first comes out 
it will be a bit grey, I guess. And there yeah. might be some food in it. Um, don't say solids. It's gross. <laughs> And then afterwards, it's just like clear water runs out. So when you're doing it over the drain, it is like the easiest task. Turn it on, wait for it to wait for water to stop running away. out. You're done. Yeah. Um, with the bucket, a little bit more work, but really not that gross or that hard at all. No. So we got our tanks custom made. And if you're in the UK and you're looking for someone to do your water tanks, or you're just looking to buy water tanks, have a look at custom made would really recommend the company Barrett tanks they were fantastic like the price was really competitive even compared to just like stock standard tanks the price was equivalent or cheaper to get them custom yeah. made through Barrett tanks mm. um, they communicated with us really well it, yeah it was so easy yeah. and because they're custom made you can either give measurements if you know exactly like what size and where you want to put them we couldn't really like figure out where exactly they could go or how to measure it. It was mm. really tricky for us. It's hard to visualize underneath where it kind of fits. But So yeah, you yeah. could do what we did and just tell them the type of van you have. So we were just like, mm. we have a 2011 Mercedes Sprinter medium wheelbase. We want, um, we said we want as much storage as we can. So make us the mm. biggest tanks you can. And they come back to us and they're like, cool, it's gonna be 75 liters down this side, 41 liters down that. So our fresh water tank is our bigger water tank and that's on the right hand side of the vehicle, the driver's side. So if you were in America or Europe, that would still go on your uh, right hand side, but that would obviously be your passenger side, just because the underneath of the vehicle is the same, whatever country you're in, it's just the top changes. Yeah, and it's the fuel tank in the way on's on the left hand side and that's why our waste water tank's smaller. Yeah. Um, and so that's the passenger side for us, but it's it's the perfect amount for us. Mm. Oh, and also with Barrett tanks is you can either get them shipped to you or you can go to them um, and they'll install them for you. Like it was yeah. so easy. It was the only thing we got professionally done and we're so happy we did yeah. because it, they did it so quickly. They knew and exactly what they're doing straight away, threw mats underneath the van, jacked it up, drilled, drilled, did drilled. It. And then 45 minutes and it was done. I don't even think it was that long. Yeah. It was really quick. And it was so quick and easy, but you could tell it wouldn't have been easy no. for us. Like, it was easy for them because there's two of them and they know exactly what they're doing. But for us, it would have been hard. Yeah. So the next is toilet water. Am I letting you talk about this one? Because <laughs> I, I never empty the toilet. <laughs> yeah. So we just have a small port -a Um, It works pretty well. It's like a sealed... It has a seat on top that holds the flushing water and then underneath it is the used the water, waste water. Waste water. water. Yeah. Um, you basically just carry that, it gets quite heavy when it's filled and you basically carry that to a chemical toilet. Make sure you wear gloves. Point. Yes, wear gloves. Wear gloves because like, like we've never got anything anywhere but mm. it's gross and you're touching like the lid or whatever or the hose that other people have yeah. touched with theirs and you don't know if they're wearing gloves uh, yeah so just yeah. wear gloves yeah. so we have a packet of latex gloves for yeah. that purpose only yeah um basically you just find your chemical toilet dumping spot carry your tank over it's got a little spout out the top undo the lid pour it in but, but get a bit heavy so like yeah. be careful make sure you don't mm. spill it there's always a hose we rinse it out tip it out do it a few times and it's it's really not as bad like it's gross if you look, it's gross, but you can kind of hold the tank without looking. And I mean, I can't really say much because I don't actually do it. <laughs> but I'm there, yeah. supporting. Yeah, it's not that bad. But it's not that bad. Like, it is gross, but it's really not that bad. Yeah. So, we only empty ours in designated places. Again, this is even more important than the grey water, I think. I know some people empty them in public toilets or port -a We just think that's gross. Like, other people are in there using it. You can't guarantee you're not going to spill it. Mm. Um, there would also be nowhere to clean it, like your porta potty would get very gross if you don't clean it out after every time you empty it. So in a lot of countries, um, these kind of facilities are available at free or very cheap airs and camper stops. Like in France, you can find them everywhere and they're cheap. We pretty much fill up our fresh water whenever we can, empty our grey water whenever we can, yeah. and toilets about once a week, once a week and a half. In other countries like where we are now in Romania, it's not so common to find somewhere to empty your toilet or somewhere to empty your grey water so yeah. we we can only do it at campsites here because we don't want to stay at campsites often and we can only do this at campsites we do it maybe once a week and once in a week and a half for everything so that means we've got to go light on the water use mm. um but it's not that bad we have a lot of storage so it, 
it's not that hard but that kind of gives you an idea of how often so even if like you find it the toilet emptying a bit gross you're really not doing it that often if you find it a bit of a hassle to get your hose out and fill up your fresh water again like we've got 75 liters and we make that last a week a week and a half mm. um that does mean we're buying drinking water a lot of the time um but if you're able to get to these taps more often you wouldn't have to do that we just kind of find it a bit easier to buy some drinking water so we know the water in our tank is going to last us a bit longer yeah. yeah so that's kind of how it works hopefully this has given you a good idea because it really confused us i don't know why um but it's, there's just there's just taps yeah, no and you just turn it on it shows it. yeah yeah but, mm. it's easy if you're building your van good luck we wish you luck if you've got any questions we'd be happy to answer them and if you want to see anything in our van or how we did it we'd be more than happy to do a mm. video just leave a comment below thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up <laughs> Um, and please subscribe. We put out travel vlogs two or three times a week and a, a video like this, a uh, kind of tips and tricks and how we're finding van life video will be out once a week. So that's three to four videos a week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.